What's up everybody, Jeff Gresham here. I wanna welcome you all back to the channel for another video. Now, the thing that every photographer dreads happening, happened to me. So let's, uh, let's roll the intro and let's get to it. So what's the one thing we as photographers dread? I mean, there's the obvious things like something happening to our cameras or dropping a lens. But besides the expensive worries, there's the other side of that coin. Data loss. So I typically back up all my photos and my files twice a month. And I was about a day or so away from doing a routine backup when I turned on my PC and got a message saying one of my hard drives needed to be formatted. Now, there was absolutely no way I was about to reformat because as we all know, I would lose everything. So I went into the command prompt and ran a diagnostic check on the drive and you know, checked this, did a repair, and I was back in business. So I figured that now was as good a time as any to back up that drive. So I got to work backing it up. About five minutes or so in, I noticed the transfer was stuck at 13% and wasn't moving. So I tried canceling the transfer, but everything was locked up. Restarted my PC and tried again. This time only selecting a few folders to transfer at a time. And of course, same thing. It locked up at about 35%. So again, I restarted my PC and decided to go into the folders and just transfer the raw files, not the folders, doing it at about 200 at a time. Well, this time it seemed to be working. I made it through you know, several of the folders. Until, bam, locked it up again. So once again, I restarted my PC, only this time my hard drive isn't showing up. I tried several different things to possibly initialize it, but nothing. I ended up spending about seven hours trying to figure it out and get this thing going. I still had about eight folders full of raw photos to transfer, but nothing I did worked. I could see the drive in the device management, but it was showing up as Seagate Bup Slim or something like that, as opposed to photo files. Also, it's not accessible at all. So now I'm sitting here with a bricked drive with eight folders worth of photos that are just not accessible to me. There is a silver lining though. The positive thing about this is that there's a good possibility that a data recovery company can recover the files. However, that's where the negative comes in. It's gonna cost me about $300 just for them to try. Unfortunately, $300, $350 for recovery is not really within my budget. So it's gonna be something that I have to save up to do, which is very inconvenient. I am thankful though, that I did get what I did from the drive before it bricked on me. So I'll be looking to switch over all my drives to SSD instead of HDD and continuing to make backups on a regular basis. But I may end up losing what's left on that drive, unfortunately. So as a photographer, you should always make sure that you're backing up your photos as often as possible and using the best drives that you can get your hands on. This obviously isn't one of the best drives you can get your hands on. I am still toying around with the idea of going to a DAS storage solution, but that may be a bit expensive at the moment. Anyway, I hope you guys can take something from this video and kind of learn from my mistakes. Back up your damn photos and keep at least three copies of everything. So I'll leave you all with that and, and this one here. So until the next time, get out and shoot and I'll see you again in the very next video.